Well, good evening, everybody. This is WBKB meteorologist Ryan Crump. I hope you all having a good evening so far. I hope you all enjoy these last uh, moments of summer, like temperatures in our area, because tomorrow we're going to begin to see a major change in our forecast, starting with a cold front clouds and rain showers pretty much most of the day on your Thursday. That's cold front number one. We do have a second cold front that's going to be on the way as well. I'll talk about that all in just a few moments, but we're going to talk about the tropics first and we're going to talk about tropical storm Philippe. Again, it's got wind speeds at 45 miles an hour. Pressure is at 1,004 millibars. It's moving at north northwest at seven miles an hour. And again, it's affecting parts of the Virgin Islands and Puerto Rico as we speak right now, but it's expected to move north and it's going to begin to pick up speed as well as we go further along through this, the rest of this weekend to this weekend. So areas like Bermuda and unfortunately the northeast is going to get hit once again. This will be their third hurricane or tropical storm or tropical system that they're going to be encountering this season here, guys. We talked about Hurricane Lee and now we're talking about tropical storm Ophelia. Now we're talking about Philippe coming into the area as we go through this weekend. But by that time, it's going to merge with another a cold front that's going to be affecting us and it's going to merge with a low pressure system out out in the parts of the northeast so yes areas like nova scotia areas like maine vermont and parts of even new england could be in store for another tropical system once again now we don't have to worry about any tropical systems in our area here guys but we do go have to, we are going to have to say bye to one person one thing and that's goodbye to summer light temperatures because we're going to see a major change uh, starting tomorrow and we're going to say hello to fall light temperatures but the good news out of this, we're going to have more rain chances in the forecast. We're going to have several of them as that. And I'll go to let you know that as we go through this forecast. Now, the high temperature, well, we made it up to 80 degrees today, guys. We didn't break no record like we did two days in a row and two days ago. Now, the record high of 86 back in 1926 still stands. But, guys, it's a normal high 63. We may not even see the temperatures get that warm for the next several days going forward here. Yes, now as a result of a cold front that's gonna be coming through the area. And guys, I wanna show you this here. Cause look at the temperatures right now in Alpena, 78 degrees, 79 in Detroit, 80 in Indianapolis, 82 in Chicago, and 78 in Green Bay, 75 in Marquette. But behind this cold front is where you're gonna experience the much cooler air. Look at the loop. they're only at 59 degrees at this hour, guys. 59 degrees. That's the air mass, air mass that's coming in our direction. 62 in Bismarck, 65 in Rapid City, and Minneapolis is sitting at 63 degrees. Now, St. Louis is at a rain cool 70 degrees. They're experiencing some rain showers. That's where their temperatures are a little bit cooler right now. In the next five days, well, we're going to have a 30 degree temperature contrast or temperature whiplash pretty much because we're going to see temperatures going from the upper 80s all the way down to the upper 40s guys in the next three days or five days better yet at that so get ready for some fall like temperatures number one is the cold front number two will be the winds and you will see that here now take a look at the wind direction guys it's gonna go from being out coming out of the southwest to coming out of the northwest here guys the northwest and it's going to be pretty sustained wind gusts as well, 15, 20, even 25 miles an hour, especially when that second cold front comes into the area. That's going to knock our temperatures down. That's going to bring us much cooler temperatures and rain chances and our forecast here. You will see that here on my future cast. Yes, rain chances throughout the day on a Thursday. That's the first cold front. The second cold front is going to come late on our Friday and to our Saturday, and that's going to bring us even cooler temperatures and more rain chances. I can expect rain chances pretty much all of next week here guys so get ready for that it's good news when it comes to our drought situation because guess what we can really use the rain chances here you're going to see that here going until the next several days so farmers crops Guys, that's great news for you all when it comes to that. Now, tonight, we're gonna, the rain is going to begin. It's going to be light, but we're going to have some much we need rainfall coming to the area. Well, mostly cloudy skies, too. Low temperatures are going to be much cooler, too. 51 in Roger City, 48 in Alpena. Keep in mind, guys, this could be a high temperature going into your day on Saturday and Sunday, so be aware of that. 51 in Harrisville, 49 in Oscola, 51 in Tawas, 48 in Onaway, and 47 in Mile. Again, not as warm with 
periods of rain showers in our area with high temperature high temperatures in the upper 60s to low 70s. We're talking about 69 in Roger City, 69 in Alpena, 71 in Onaway, 68 in Oscola, 67 in Taiwan. So yes, the next several days going forward, we're gonna feel more like November like temperatures, guys, opposed to what we've been feeling the last couple of days with July like temperatures and record breaking temperatures. We're not gonna see any of that anytime soon. The next time I think we'll see an 80 degree temperature will be in April. Now look at these temperatures right now, 69 and uh, it's going to be the temperature for your Thursday. That's the transition day. Friday 65, then another cold front comes in on our Saturday and we're going to really drop off when it comes to our temperatures. Look at those overnight lows guys. We're talking about 30 degree temperatures for your overnight lows for your Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. Even on Saturday morning we could be dropping down pretty low to the 40s. We could even count to the 30s in those, on those days. Why I'm mentioning that? Because guess what? We could encounter some frost coming to the area at that time, at that point. When temperatures get into the 30s, frost becomes a major concern. So that means one thing: if you have any sensitive vegetation or plants, you may want to bring those in, and even some pet, even pets, because the frost could potentially damage them and leave you at a, uh, at a loss when it comes to plants. Well, that's all I have for right now. This has been WBKB meteorologist Ryan Crump. Well, I hope you all have a great evening.